Here's the question of the day. Is it possible to get rich in real estate quickly? Because most people, they think, oh, get rich quick. That must be something bad. That must be a scam. Do you know how many of my buddies make millions of dollars a year getting rich quick and everyone else is none the wiser? There are three major strategies we're gonna explore today and at the end of this video, you're gonna know the quickest way, as in within 90 days or less, to start making tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. One, one shot, now the future is yours, go! Check it out. I've got four stacks of $50,000. 50 grand here, 50 grand here, 50, 50. So in total, this is $200,000. This is as much money as you can make on a single real estate deal but meanwhile, someone that went to college only makes $50,000 in an entire year trading their best 40 or 50 hours a week for that entire year for that amount of money. So this is gonna be an important video today, especially as it relates to wholesaling, flipping, buying and holding because wholesaling is probably your quickest way to making the most money without needing any money in the game of real estate. Flipping can make you even more money than wholesaling and buy and holding is a different game altogether. That's a game that you play if you wanna be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Check it out. If you're new to me as an influencer, you're definitely going to wanna to subscribe. You're gonna to wanna to ring that bell. You're not gonna to wanna to miss my videos because even at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the ultimate shortcut on how you can go from making nothing to not just hundreds of thousands, but millions of dollars in the game of real estate and we're gonna start with this conversation on wholesaling. Real estate wholesaling is a strategy in which a wholesaler obtains a contract on a property with its seller and in turn sales the contract to an investor. Wholesalers start by looking for a discounted property to put under contract. In other words, if you can find a property that is massively undervalued, it's worth $300,000 and you can get it for $200,000, well, essentially, there's some paperwork that can officially lock in that deal and there's other paperwork that allows you to hand it off to someone else to buy and when they buy it, you get to make all of the money in the middle, which might mean $20,000, it might mean $50,000. So wholesaling is a really sweet game and here's why. So true or false, you can get rich quick with wholesaling. The answer is yes. My buddy, John, just started 30 days ago. He has his first deal under contract. He's scheduled to make in the next week $80,000. Here's why it's working well for him. He has a full-time job. He doesn't like the full-time job. He wants to get out of the full-time job. So the first thing he likes about wholesaling is that it has a low capital requirement. Wholesaling typically requires minimal upfront capital as it involves assigning contracts rather than purchasing properties. You're never actually buying the home. You're finding a good deal, you're getting it under contract, and then you're selling the contract to somebody else for a pile of dough. It has quick profits. Wholesalers can generate relatively fast profits by securing properties at discounted prices and then assigning the contracts to buyers. So literally his third weekend, he got this deal under contract contract and, and a week from now it's scheduled to close and he gets paid the $80,000. And there's reduced risk. Wholesalers are not responsible for property ownership because they never actually buy a property. They don't do the repairs, they don't do the maintenance. This lowers the risk associated with property ownership. So of the first three strategies, wholesaling, can you get rich quick? Yeah, baby. It would be so unfair if you left this video and still had any confusion on what wholesaling was. So let me give you an example. Let's just say that you find a house that is worth $200,000, but because it's in horrible repair, you can get it under contract for $120,000. You then find an investor that wants to buy it and they want to do the repairs and they want to fix it up and they need a discount too. So even though fixed up it's worth 200,000, you choose to sell it to them for $150,000. They can still put 20,000 in, repair the place and then either keep it and rent it out or they can still flip it on the market and turn a profit. Well, check it out on this $200,000 house. If you picked it up for 120 and the investor is buying it for 150, what's the difference? That's a wholesale profit of $30,000. And I don't ever recommend doing a deal where you make less than $20,000. So $30,000, that's a great deal. My buddy John's deal, his first deal making $80,000, also a great deal. There are deals where you can make even more. And if you wanna learn about those, you should definitely click the link below this video and I will show you. Next, let's talk about flipping. 
flipping is not very different from wholesaling. Now you're actually buying the property and also repairing it before you sell it. Flipping refers to a strategy of purchasing properties and selling them on a short-term time frame, generally less than a year, generally less than six months for a quick profit. If wholesaling is about finding a really good deal and handing it off to someone else for a fee, then flipping is actually finding a really good deal and then buying it, putting cash in, and then fixing it up and then selling it. If a wholesaler on that last example could make $30,000, flipping might actually make you another $30,000. So now the first deal might not only be a $30,000 assignment fee as a wholesaler, it might be a $60,000 profit as a flipper. First of all, you definitely have profit potential when it comes to flipping properties. Flipping offers the opportunity for substantial profits by purchasing properties at a discounted price, improving the condition, and then selling them at a higher market value. This is a form of what I call active income. It's not passive, like what buy and hold is or being a landlord and having rentals, right? Because flipping properties can generate relatively quick returns providing an active income stream for investors who prefer shorter investment cycles. Active income basically means, okay, wholesaling might be, I spent X number of hours trying to find a good deal, and once I found one and I got it under contract, I flipped it to somebody else, and then I made my $30,000. There's a lot more time and effort you have to put into flipping because now it's like, well, now I had to come up with the financing to buy the property. Then I've got to get it fixed up. I might be involved in the process. I might be the one swinging the hammer. I might be the one meeting with different contractors. So they're the ones swinging the hammer. And I've seen on certain flipping deals that you can sometimes put in not just weeks, but months into getting something ready to list it back on the market and have someone else buy it. So you could make more money, but guess what it's gonna cost you? More time. And we also have to mention that flipping houses is risky due to potential market fluctuations, renovation cost overruns, and extended holding periods that can erode expected profits. I remember I had found one of my very first deals that was worth $400,000 and I basically picked it up for 300 grand. And I thought, you know what? It needs very little repair. I'm gonna list it on the market and I'm gonna sell this and I'm gonna turn a quick profit. The market had just fluctuated and turned down. And so I had to lower the price from 400,000 down to 360,000, down to 330,000. And eventually I got someone to buy it and they actually didn't even honor the agreement of the money that I was supposed to make on it. So I made nothing and that's my first foray into flipping. Now I've had many successful flips and I've made a lot of money doing them. Um, in fact, I've done a couple thousand deals, but I do want you to know that for get rich quick, there's definitely a much higher risk in a flipping game compared to wholesaling. The third strategy we're gonna look at today for getting rich quick in real estate is buy and hold. The term buy and hold real estate refers to a specific strategy investors use when they purchase a property and retain it for a certain period of time. The investors may eventually sell the real estate or rent it out along the way. Now, this is what I'm very known for. I've done over 6,000 transactions, $2 billion worth of entry level single family homes. And basically I buy a home every single day. I love buy and hold, but it doesn't produce quick cash like wholesaling, certainly not like flipping. It's a different game that you play for different reasons. I love passive income. It means that my money's working for me, but it's not taking any of my time. Buy and hold real estate can generate consistent rental income, providing investors with a reliable and passive cash flow stream. So imagine for a moment, I buy a house and all of my expenses are $1,500 a month. I rent it out for $2,000 a month, which means that after I pay all my expenses, there's $500 left over. Literally, the tenant gives me $2,000 a month, $1,500 a month covers all my expenses, $500 a month is what's left over. That $500 a month, that goes into my bank account automated every month. $500 a month doesn't make you rich. But imagine if you had 100 homes that were each paying you $500 a month. At some point, it starts to add up and because it's passive, you walk away and you're set. Meanwhile, your real estate is going up in value. Someone else is managing it. It's a very different game. 
we also have to address the appreciation that I was just talking about. Over time, real estate properties have the potential to appreciate in value, allowing investors to benefit from wealth accumulation. There's also something to say for diversification. Owning multiple rental properties across different markets can provide diversification. It spreads out the risk. It's not like a job. Think about it. A job is really risky, right? It's like, well, Chris, that's not risky. Um, I collect a paycheck every two weeks. Yeah, but when you lose your job and you have no paycheck, you have lost your only source of income. If I own 25 homes, which is what I had when I was 26 years old and I retired for the first time, those homes were paying me $12,000 a month. I no longer needed a job. The 12 grand a month was totally passive. It was totally awesome. And I always tell people, there's a lot of money to make in wholesaling. There's a lot of money to make in flipping. But the biggest regret of wholesalers and flippers that have the quick cash is that one day you wake up and a decade has passed and you still don't have a portfolio. You don't have 100 homes or even 10 homes that are paying you a monthly residual income without requiring any of your time. In my opinion, you gotta get some of both the wholesaling, the flipping, as well as the buy and holding. And if that's intriguing to you, for the first time ever, I've created a mashup where they all come together so that you can literally make six figures a year, but you can also own all the real estate building a multi-million dollar portfolio. Check it out. Remember how in the last month I told you about my buddy John that got started in real estate, specifically wholesaling, and now he has $80,000 coming to him next week. It's giving him all the confidence in the world to quit his job sooner rather than later. He did all that because I launched a company with Carlos Reyes called Property. It combines the world's most powerful real estate investment strategies like wholesaling, flipping, and buy and holding with highly automated systems. And this enables investors to generate active income while building legacy wealth with minimal investor involvement. We just launched this company last month and we've been very quiet about it, but we have a bunch of people that have gotten started with us and they're doing exactly what John is. If you would like to make the kind of money where you can work part-time, but make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and certainly the potential for millions, but you also want to get in the real estate that you wanna hold that will turn into millions of dollars with time, click the link below and learn about partnering with me and Carlos. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how you can have your cake and eat it too. You don't have to pick between wholesaling, flipping, and buy and holding. We're gonna show you how to do both, get your life back, have the money, and live the most beautiful life possible. Check it out, can't decide between wholesaling and flipping versus buy and holding. There is something to say about owning real estate that grows and multiplies and pays you every month, but never exacting any of your time. So if you wanna learn about how to be totally passive in the game of real estate, click this link right here and let me show you how to get it done.